House Nancy Pelosi condemning the president's remarks, writing a letter to her Democratic colleagues that said, in part, I reject the president's xenophobic comments meant to divide our nation. Rather than attack members of Congress, he should work with us for humane immigration policy that reflects American values. Joining me now, Chris Steyerwald, Fox News politics editor. Um, Nancy Pelosi saying that they want to do a resolution um, to basically condemn the president tweets. Now, this is the same speaker that was not able to do a resolution on uh, calling a, for uh, members of Congress, especially the Democratic House members and the freshman Democrats, not to be anti-Semitic in their comments. Yeah, and they ended up with a watered-down version of that. Uh, the point here, though, is to, is to trap Republicans. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a Republican from a swing district, if you're a Republican from a place in America where the president telling uh, members of Congress, uh, women of color, go back to where you came from if you don't like USA, uh, if, if, that's, if that's a vote, if you're... Uh, represent the suburbs of Dallas or Houston, mm. uh, if you're Will Hurd, who represents, represents the district along the southern border, mm. these are difficult votes, and that's what Pelosi's trying to tease out here. I see. That makes uh, more sense politically as a strategy. Um, I do want to bring this up, um, because we're talking about a little bit of politics here, because we talked about these tweets a bit. Um, there was this poll of Democratic internal findings. Um, take a look at this. Name recognition for Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez at 74%. Uh, Ilhan Omar at 53 percent. They've only been members of Congress for about a year. That is an incredible number. And I think Republicans look at that and think this could help them possibly win back the House because there are you know, those 31 districts that Nancy Pelosi uh, was able to get the speakership back because those are swing districts. And an AOC and an Ilhan Omar probably are not the type of people that you want to see in ads. But I'm sure the Republicans have already written them up. Well, they have. I even saw one that, believe it or not, has a picture of Lenin in it. Uh, our politics are so dumb at this moment. We live in such a rankly dumb moment that there are uh, campaign, Republicans are running campaign ads with a picture of Vladimir Ilyevich Ilyev, Ilyev, Lenin with uh, members of Congress. And it's like, okay, cool, whatevs. Uh, <laughs> the, a, problem... yeah, the Republicans, we're just showing here that NRCC has this piece basically saying that the, a socialist showdown and Mayor Pete in Iowa this weekend when he was campaigning for the 2020 Democratic uh, nomination basically said, no matter what we do, the Republicans are going to call us socialists, so we might as well just stand for what we believe in. But then how do you think that will play? Here's another poll. Uh, capitalism getting a favorable rating at 56 percent. Socialism an unfavorable rating at 69 percent. So I just look at all of this and think I, there's like the I agree, like the politics of it all. Separately from that, though, if you're looking for the long term gain, if you're Republicans, you've got to think we got a shot here to bring back the House. So every Democrat, so Democrats will tell you every Republican is racist and Republicans right. will tell you that every Democrat right. is a socialist. Now, this creates a problem, though, if the person in question isn't that. The real danger for Republicans at this point is they have gone, I mean, we've gone to Stalin. So once you've gone to Stalin, there's really not much left in the barrel after you've gone to Stalin. And if the person who's running in your House district isn't like Stalin and isn't even like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, is a veteran, is a, mm -hmm. a moderate, is a, those things, you better live, you better be able to deliver on the claim that this person is a Stalinist socialist, just as Democrats, if they say all Republicans are racist, mm -hmm. all Republicans are just like Trump, that well, creates a space then, to so succeed. So that's the danger for Republicans. What about for Democrats? Well, the danger for Democrats is that the Republicans won't be as racist as they talk. It, it works in both directions. Both of the, they're, they're swinging so hard. There's so little nuance. There's so little substance that both sides risk uh, under underperforming on these lavish claims. Yeah. And meanwhile, there was a great event today celebrating the economy um, on the South Lawn of the White House. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about that, at least in the A block, but we'll get to it a little bit later. Chris Starwalt, thank you.